Hey, what's up, nerds? How you guys doing today? Hopefully, everybody's having a great day. I'm happy to be here with you today, doing a face shave. And uh, I was watching some videos over the Thanksgiving weekend, and I saw Nomeo do a video, Leroy from Nomeo, uh, and he had a neglected November theme going on. And I thought, you know what? I should do that. I got some products that I love. He used his uh, his uh, tobacco shaving stick with a uh, um, his Rockwell razor and uh, I thought hey that's a good idea I got some products I have that I love but have not got back around to using recently so I'm doing a neglected November sh shave and so the soap I'm using is the Filthy Fix Soap Co and this is their Havana scent and this is Nathan of the Filthy Fix Soap Co uh, he's the owner of it his uh, shop is the Filthy Fix Soap dot co and I'll put a link to it down in the uh, description if I have time and I'm using my Alabama my Bama brush even though Alabama lost still got to represent for the tide you know you you win some you lose some still a fan still love it it's fun to watch um, you know it's it's pure entertainment and that's all it is and I love to watch it and I love to cheer for them but you know you win some, you lose some, life goes on. But anyhow, so this is my Neglected November um, soap that I'm using. And I absolutely love this soap. It uh, it smells great to me. It's a clean, fresh, tobacco, masculine scent. Um, low, drilly easy. Um, got a ton in there. Performs really well. Great slickness. Great post shave fill. That's one thing I love about this soap is a uh, post shave fill, and I find that that is becoming higher and higher on my priority list is post shave fill. Um, you know, that's one thing. The uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street. Um, you know, and some different soaps I've used that are high-end soaps, you know, uh, high-end, I shouldn't say high-end, they're, they're more expensive soaps, or they're, you, you know, your average soap price between 15 and $20, I should say. Um, they didn't have the post-shave fill like I would like, and this soap has a great post-shave fill, and uh, Really good performance, really good strength of scent, which I like. I like a strong smelling soap, and this is definitely a strong smelling soap. So, I uh, was digging around through my box of soaps and saw this one. I was like, you know what? I need to get this bad boy back out, give it some love, and receive some love, because my face feels really good on my head after I use this product. So, excellent, excellent scent and uh, performance. But, anyhow, so that's my neglected November soap and I'll show you the razor here in just a minute. Um, yeah, I got to watch some guys uh, Thanksgiving shaves and Cincy shaves. Man, what an awesome uh, shout out you gave me, brother. That was just amazing. I appreciate it. I'm glad your channel is doing so well. I really enjoy watching your videos, your the attitude, the vibe you bring, the lightheartedness, um, and your fearlessness. Trying whatever blade, whatever soap, whatever cream. Um, I love it. Um, sometimes I think, man, I'm glad he's trying it so I don't have to. Because <laughs> some of those blades you use I would not have the guts to try, but man, I got lather just flying everywhere. Um, I heavily loaded this brush, as uh, Abe would say, load it like you hate it. And that's what I did. And I got to watch the uh, Common Sense Shaver, if you guys haven't seen him yet. He, he has some videos out. He's pretty new to the scene. Um, I 
has a really good calm uh, presence on camera. And he gave me a really kind shout out too, so thank you. Um, thank you for that, John. I really appreciate that. Man, I just love doing shaves and, and this community and getting to know people and um, talking back and forth and seeing what you guys like to use and what works best for you. And it's just a fun, fun thing. Just an awesome community and hobby and holy smokes look at this lather I had been rushing building my lathers a little bit and I started slowing down taking a little more time and they have gotten loads better I'm using today I've only used once and I liked it a lot it's my gem featherweight I got this from uh, Gil over uh, at a uh, second kind of cool and he gave it to me at the wet shave meetup which was back at the very end of September and I haven't used it since and it gave me a great shave so I got my uh, gem featherweight and it's got a Ted Pella PTFE coated blade in it and it's on its third use the blade is so here we go with the grain. This is a lot, a lot more mild than the uh, clog proof. Way more mild than the clog proof. And I've got about 24 hours of growth. Forgot to mention that. So hopefully everybody had a good uh, holiday time. Enjoyed it. Black Friday came and went. We don't do, my wife and I, and we're not, we don't go out for Black Friday. Not worth the craziness. Still on our mid schedule at work. We're still working every day around the clock. So I think they counted up. I think today was like our 38th or 40th day in a row at work.
hopefully uh, we'll get to take some time off over the Christmas holiday, but we'll see what the testing program has in store. Super easy and efficient to shave with these. I saw Andy, the Northern Shaver, use a Schick injector. And he absolutely loved it. He, uh, he said he could see himself just using that one razor for everyday shaves for the rest of his life and I thought holy smokes that's high praise coming from Andy who shaves every day you know anybody who's watched him he's uh, who said I think Abe uh, in one of the comments said he's like the the ninja of shaving he's so fast and he's the ninja of wet shaving and so if he's saying that shit conjecture is smooth and, and close and efficient and that he could see himself using that every day. That's high praise indeed for a razor. Alright, first pass is done and there's a ton of slickness in this soap. Here we go, second pass, cross grain.
Sorry I'm being so quiet, I'm just uh, really enjoying this shave. It's just such an effortless shave with a gem. Um, seems like some of the different razors and blade combos I use sometimes it's almost a not a struggle but definitely a fight to get a good clean close shave and the gem is just so comfortable oh and I will say I had been uh, for those of you who watch my channel thank you thank you to all the new subscribers thank you to everybody who watched my channel um, for those who watched it you know for a little while you've seen I've used a Gillette red tip a little bit and uh, struggled with it and thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to try and trade it or give it away or sell it, do something with it. I, uh, because it just felt, it just felt like a battle every time I had to shave with it, you know. It wasn't fun, it wasn't comfortable. Well, what I learned, I put in the, I did a shave off camera and I put in the Rapira Platinum Lux Blade that I had done a uh, shave with already and that it was an amazing shave close efficient smooth I think uh, with the red tip blade selection is going to be a huge part of getting a nice I'm going to add a little more water to this just to slicken it up for this last pass just to get it even a little slicker blade selection for the red tip is going to be a huge factor in how the shave goes. Um, it seems like with some of the other razors I have, the the uh, Gillette Tech, the Variant, um, I can slap pretty much any blade in there and get a good, decent, comfortable shave out of it. Uh, maybe not always the closest or smoothest, but a good shave that's relatively easy, not a lot of hard work. But with that uh, red tip, I think blade selection definitely is going to play a big role in that. And geez, guys, look at how much, I mean, this is amazing for the third pass how much I'm still how much lather I'm still building if I had a little dry on my first two passes but it felt really good it wasn't sticking to the blade at all just an outstanding product this, this is one of my favorite soaps all around and I've uh, kind of got pushed to the back of my box just because of all the new stuff I brought in. But, uh, I really like the scent. Nice, masculine scent. Not heavy, a strong scent, but not a heavy scent. Um, great performance, like I said, great post shave fill, which is becoming really high on my list. Sorry, this video is going to be a little longer, but. I'm having fun making this lather. I'm having a lot of fun making this lather. 
So, alright, I mean, look at that. The brush is still extremely loaded. And I could probably add a little more water to it and get some more out of it, but here we go against the grain. I found my hair on, on the right side of my cheek kind of grows in a crisscross pattern. Some of it, you know, going up this way is against the grain and some up this way is against the grain. It's really strange. Well, in the mustache area, that's not quite as smooth as I remember the clog proof being. Could be this blade. This blade's only on its third use, and these, I've heard these blades, you can easily get, you know, six, ten, twelve uses out of, so I hope it's not the blade. starting to go out. This might be this featherweight is a little too mild. Yeah, I think the featherweight is just a little, little mild for me. I had to learn how to use the clog proof, but once I got that figured out, I really like it. Yep, there's going to be a little burn, little alum burn on my mustache area. I had a little pimple down there, a little zit.
Oh guys, I guess I spoke a little too soon about uh, getting good, easy shaves out of this uh, featherweight. The, the Micromatic, I think the featherweight's just a little too mild. It feels like I'm having to work a little harder than I'd like to to get a good close shave. And the Micromatic's definitely more efficient. You know, it's, it's not bad. I definitely had worse shave, no doubt about that, but alright, I'm gonna call it there. I'm not gonna overshave. That's something I learned watching Andy as well. Um, he said a really smart thing. He's like, for those who shave every day, don't overshave. You'll you'll catch it next time. Like it'll be okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna do a Kevy Shaves face wash because there's so much good product left in this brush right now. And uh, this soap gives really good post shave fill, and I really like the scent. So. Get that on there. All right, guys. Um, Off here. I'm going to pause real quick, rinse this off, and be right back. Alright guys, here we go with the Allen block. I do expect some burn on this one. And there's less on the mustache than I thought, so that's a good sign. And there's less on the neck than I thought, so, huh, that's surprising. I thought there was going to be a lot more. That was uh, more efficient. I also didn't push very hard because I knew I could feel it getting a little tuggy. And so I didn't, I didn't want to push it. But even for that, that's less, less burn than I thought out of the Allen. So, there we go. Well... While that's drying, I'm going to run down my shave. I'll finish up post-shave off camera. Um, gem Featherweight. Um, good little razor. Probably, if I use it, I'll just do a two-pass shave against the grain. Um, I'd like it to be a little more effective against the grain than what it was. Um, but a fun, cool little razor to use. So, and the... Uh, the Bama brush by Mer Shaving. I love the brush. Uh, I absolutely love this brush. So, great job, Dave. I'm really happy with it. Thank you very much. Um, and then the Filthy Fix Soap Co. Havana. Nathan. Excellent product. Um, really, really nice product. I love the post shave fill. I love the lather you get out of it. I love. Uh, um, the performance, I love the scent, it's just an all around awesome product. So I'm going to finish up with some witch hazel, come back about 20 minutes later and do some aloe vera. Someone commented that down below and I really liked it. So thanks for watching this guys, please be kind, please be safe, have a great day, roll tide, we'll talk to you guys later, bye.